What's up, everybody? This is part one, how to install GTK Radiant and Return to Castle Wolfenstein and do a little bit of setup. So first things first, if you have Wolfenstein installed currently, you need to uninstall it completely. I have Wolfenstein installed in Steam. So if you also have it installed in Steam, make sure that you uninstall the game. Then you have to go where Wolfenstein is installed and delete the folder. So go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and delete the Wolfenstein folder. Once that's done, you can actually reinstall the game. This makes sure that we have a clean installation and there should be no conflicting files or folders. Okay, once that's done, we need to launch single player and do a few things. So its resolution is really small. We need to make sure that we change that. I'm going to turn the music off. And then I'm going to change the graphics resolution to... You could change it to whatever you'd like. I'm going to change it to 1280 by 1024 and turn full screen off. Should look like this. Go ahead and quit. And now launch multiplayer. We're going to do the same thing. sound or the music off, change the resolution, turn the full screen off. It look like this, you can quit. That's fantastic. All right, a few more things that we need to do. So we need to have access to this folder on our desktop. So if you're using Steam, an easy way to do that would be to go right click, properties, local files tab, browse local files. This gives you the folder. So go back one folder, so click on common, right click the return to Castle Wolfenstein folder, send to desktop. Close the windows here, minimize. As you see, we have the Wolfenstein folder right here on our desktop. We need this because when we're level editing, there's times that we're gonna be going in and out of this folder and it gets annoying having to navigate to it all the time. This makes it easier. The next thing I want you guys to do is we need to make sure, go to Google, we have to have a few things. Um, first things first, make sure that you have WinRAR. You'll need to be packaging files up into PK3s. You need to be opening maps, opening, um, you know, texture folders and extracting things. So if you don't have WinRAR, I recommend getting it. If you have 7-Zip or WinZip, anything like that, that's totally fine. You don't need WinRAR then. But if you don't have WinRAR and you need it, download the 64-bit version here from their website. And now, the other thing I recommend is Notepad++. I will put all these in the description of the video, okay? So Google Notepad++, this is also free. This is for way later down the road when we need to edit scripts or create scripts for our map. Uh, this makes it so much easier to see things clearly. So then download, choose the latest release, download and install it. The next thing that we need is of course GTK Radiant. So type in GTK Radiant into Google. The first option from Iculus is what we want. 
go to downloads for windows here we're going to choose the latest version which is currently 1.6.6 and if you don't have the visual c++ redistributables um, they're right here for you to grab chances are though if you've been playing video games in the year 2020 um, you have these things but if for some reason you're on an older machine or you you just don't then make sure you download them here for now click on this link save the file now it should save like this as a zip archive um, this is gtk radiant packaged up we just need to extract it to our desktop. And boom. We have GTK Radiant installed right here underneath our Wolfenstein folder. Go into the GTK Radiant folder, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you should see a Radiant application right click this send to desktop this is what you should see on your desktop these three things you will be totally set up and ready to go if you have a folder for returning castle wolfenstein the gtk radiant folder and then the radiant shortcut so let's double click on the radiant shortcut this may take a while to pop up so give it 30 seconds or so. In the game drop down, choose Return to Castle Wolfenstein. And now we need to tell Radiant where Wolfenstein is installed. Click the three buttons. Navigate to your hard drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Wolfenstein. Now remember, I use Steam. If you have Wolfenstein outside of Steam, just go find where that uh, where Wolfenstein is installed. So then click OK. OK again. Now give this about 30 seconds. On slower PCs, this box will take a while to pop up. It should say Return to Castle Wolfenstein here. And then check this first box. So that way it will always load this game and then start the editor give us some time once this window pops up you have set up uh, GTK radiant uh, in a very basic way so good job we, we've done it in the next video I'm gonna show you how to configure radiant we'll get it all moved around make it looking nice so that way level editing is easier and I'll show you how you can use Radiant and move around and all that type of stuff. See you in the next one.